82, I think 82 was the first year I found Floyd, yeah. And it was this little sleepy, nondescript little town, nothing going on to mount anything. The hardware was the greatest place to go in, besides being in the store here. The store here is where, you know, they they had the music, but they had, yeah, the feed store, and it was Cockrum. And then Mr. Robertson is who I can remember working the counter over here with the popcorn. Didn't have They didn't have much, you know, they had a little bit. The participants here early when I knew it were, were a lot of older people that had a love and a connection to this older music. I mean, it was the music of their youth. You know, there was other music at that time, but they were listening to old, what would be old time and, and bluegrass, you know, that, that generation of people. One of the reasons I come over here a lot, or when I can come, is in my area, we used to have a lot of music, but it's just not there. There's not even any bluegrass in my area. So the old time music and the tradition has, has just seemed to have stayed in these areas, in this part of Virginia. And that's what you've got to have. You've got to have a community of music to pass it on to another generation. That in my area has, has died out. I, I feel very lucky and humbled that you know, I can play with a lot of these musicians over here.